There was just something about cold, creamy oats that intrigued me. Or I'm just too lazy and I have no time. Let's try overnight oats. Studies have shown that fancy containers improve the appetite, hence the mason jar. You need oats, rolled or quick cook, don't use instant or steel cut oats. I use fresh milk because it's cheaper and it's real. I need natural yogurt, just like Greek yogurt but don't get the flavoured ones. I use one banana and one of the most powerful superfoods, I will use some chia seeds. Also, I want to add some sunflower seed kernels for a nutty flavour. First, peel the banana. You know, in most videos that I see, people mash the banana in a different bowl and then add them into the jar. I don't have the time or the motivation to wash another bowl. So just do it in the jar. I'm adding one, two, three, four, five, and six spoons of oats. Pretty, huh? Now please turn the jar over so that it looks pretty. Yes, thank you. Don't pour too much milk. Just pour above the oats. We want porridge, not soup. For the yogurt, one, two, three, and about three and a half spoons of yogurt. The chia seeds will gel up and thicken the oats. So just add about three quarter spoons. That's not exactly a tablespoon, but yeah, you can just eyeball. As for the sunflower seeds, I'm going to put in 2 tablespoons. Sunflower seed kernels are not hard, they are already soft so it's okay to add them right now. I read somewhere that if you don't add salt, oats will taste like glue and I completely agree. Look at all the beautiful layers, it's pretty huh? Well don't be silly, I don't know why most recipes just end here. You must mix everything so that it soaks well. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Now, close the lid and shake things up a bit, especially for the sake of the bananas. There you go. Now, you're going to want to let it sit in the fridge overnight. And tomorrow morning, you will wake up to be a happy person. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and expect more videos in the future. Goodbye.